everyone. My name is Carmel. I work with Eastside Neighborhood Services with the Vital Living Program. And thank you for joining me today for Vital Fitness. I hope you're all doing well and taking care. We are going to get seated in our chairs here. Make with no wheels underneath. And you have your comfortable clothing on, some water nearby for whenever you need to take a break and drink some water. And let's get seated in our chair or straight and we'll take a few deep breaths in and out. Let's place our hands on our stomach and do some deep belly breathing. So we are going to inhale all the way in through our nose, fill up our belly with air and exhale it all out. Feel your stomach return into place. Let's try that again. Inhale all the way in, all the way to your belly, as though it's expanding like a balloon. And exhale it all out. Feel your stomach return. One more time here. We're going to inhale all the way in through our belly. And exhale it all out. And relax. We're going to start all the way down with our feet here. And so let's go ahead and warm up our ankles a bit. So feet flat on the floor. We are going to raise our heels off of the ground and then raise our toes off of the ground. So raise those heels, then raise the toes, switching back and forth, raising the heels, raising the toes, taking deep breaths in and out. Throughout the time that we have today, make sure that um, if you need to take a break, feel free to do that. We save these videos every week, so uh, if you ever need to step away for a second, uh, we will be back here. You can replay parts that you missed. That is there for you. And let's go ahead and rest our feet. We are going to do some foot circles now. So go ahead and extend one foot out. Doesn't matter which one. We're going to do it to both. But we are going to draw a circle with that foot. So drawing a circle with your foot. Remember that uh, you have good footwear on or um, whichever footwear, I have socks on simply because I'm on my carpet and it has a good grip already for me so I know I won't slip or fall. Um, and so make sure it is footwear that works for you that you know, um, you know that you'll be stable on. Switch directions. Warming up, waking up our ankle. And my back is still pretty straight. I'm trying not to hunch. Trying to make sure I have a good posture throughout. But really, it's my foot that's doing most of the work right now. Okay, let's switch. Other foot this time. Extend it out and draw a circle with your foot. You don't have to keep it this high up off of the ground. You can keep it down here, um, whatever works for you. I know I'm doing it a little bit higher up so that you can see what I'm doing. So take deep breaths in and out as you do this. Other direction. And it's important to do both sides as well so that we keep it nice and balanced. Okay, go ahead and rest your feet. Take another few deep breaths in. Now place your hands on your stomach. Inhale all the way in. Feel that stomach expand like a balloon. And then exhale. Have that stomach deflate. Again, inhale. And Okay, moving to other parts of our leg now. We're still warming up. This is an 
all abilities exercise class. So feel free to just do uh, whatever emotions feel right for you. And we are simply going to raise one foot off of the ground and then the other. So we are alternating, we're marching in place while marching in our seat. Um, feel free to just get your foot to a comfortable range of motion. If you can't do it um, too high, that's okay. We're all at different places to start off with. So uh, do what works for you. And try to keep that posture straight. You're not hunching and doing this, but you're keeping that back straight. You can have it rest on your chair if you would like. I'm a little bit to the edge of my chair here so that um, I can reach the ground. I'm a little bit shorter, so <laughs> I want to be able to get there. But also, when you are marching like this, I'm going to face the front now. Uh, I am not trying to, you know, really move my upper body here, even though that enables me to raise my knee a lot higher. I'm not doing that. I'm keeping myself straight like this. I'm just putting all the work with my legs, with my thighs. I feel that right here. With my thighs working hard. You can keep breaths in and out. Okay, let's slow down here and inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more time and exhale. Okay, so we are going up now to our upper body here. We are going to stretch ourselves out a bit. Let's go ahead and extend our arms off to both sides. Feel like you're being pulled by both ends of your hands here. And then take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Again, deep breath in. And deep breath out. Stretch a little bit more. And what I mean by that is I have my hands right here off to the sides, but I'm going to bring them a little bit farther back behind me. And I'm going to inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Relax those shoulders. If you're starting to feel tired, you can have your hands a little bit lower. Up to you. But if you can keep them up, keep them up for a little bit longer. We're going to gentle, gently stretch off to one side and then to the other, facing both sides here. Inhaling and exhaling. If you are starting to notice that you're starting to kind of lose your neck here, that's okay. Go ahead and lower those arms. That might just mean your shoulders are getting a little bit tired. But you wanna you wanna try not to lose your neck. Try and keep a good posture all throughout this exercise. So keeping that back and that spine as straight as possible. And relax those arms. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Get some water. Okay. Let's keep on going here. So we are going to do some arm circles this time. So go ahead and make small circles with your arms going forward. Try to do a small circle for now, but when you start feeling a little bit more comfortable, go ahead and move into those bigger circles. It's good to check in with your body, with every movement that you're doing, making sure that if you feel any pain, um, you shouldn't be feeling any pain, maybe tiredness, but that is different from, say, sharp pain that sometimes we might experience from doing a movement that we're not used to. So. 
Go ahead, always check in with your body. And roll those shoulders backwards this time if you haven't switched yet. Same thing, imagine as though, uh, if you want to make a bigger circle, imagine as though your ears, not your ears, but your shoulders are trying to reach all the way up to your ears and then all the way down. Feel free to slowly move as well. And sometimes you feel a deeper stretch when you do that. Take a deep breath in and out. Okay, and relax. Go ahead and inhale again through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to Go all the way up to our head and our neck, just our head and our neck moving, isolating that. But we are going to look side to the front and then other side. So we're looking side, front, and side. You can inhale as you look to the side. Exhale when you're looking up front here. Whatever works for you, how to incorporate that breathing. Again, it's an all abilities exercise class, so uh, you may be feeling tired or maybe you don't have as big of a range of motion. And that's okay. We are starting wherever our level is at. And the important part is that we're doing the exercises. This one's a pretty good exercise to do um, at any part in your day. Let's go ahead and look up to the ceiling this time. So looking up, slowly looking up, looking straight ahead, slowly looking down. It's a good one, especially for anyone who is just sitting in place for long periods of time. It's good to get that head and neck moving, stretching it out, keeping that posture straight again here. So. I am keeping my posture straight the whole entire time because I want to make sure I'm not straining my back in any way. So, taking deep breaths in and out. Let's go ahead and just do one more on each. So we are going to look up one, look straight ahead, and then look down. And we are going to just take a deep breath in and out again before we move on. Okay, so we're going to do our sit to stand exercise now. For this sit to stand exercise, if you cannot, um, cannot do any exercises standing up, that's okay. We'll do variations of how to do exercises sitting down. Again, an all abilities exercise class, so that means we work to whatever our abilities are. So I have a chair in front of me here that I grabbed. This is for folks who want that extra chair assist in helping them do this exercise. But what we're going to do is the first part actually just involves sitting down. We are going to make sure our posture is straight and upright the whole entire time. Our feet are flat on the floor. We're going to take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out. Relax, low shoulders. Let's do that again. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And the first part to our sit to stand exercise is stretching forward, reaching over. Inhale and exhale when you come back. Let's try that again. Inhale through your nose. Exhale when you come back. One more time here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your back. Not through your back, but exhale through your mouth when you come back. So when I stretch over like that, try not to um, stretch higher than your shoulders. Just stretch forward as high as, high as your shoulders can reach. It's good enough. And also make sure that back, that posture is straight the whole time. So when you lean over, you're not hunching over and looking down. 
be looking up the whole time and keeping that back straight. So, okay. Let's go ahead and take one more deep breath in and out here. And we're gonna move on to our second motion. This is where we use the chair to help us stand a little bit off our chair, just about one or two inches, and then we sit back down gently. So we put those two together because it's a momentum-based sit to stand. So it builds up off of each other. So let's go ahead, let's stretch forward, no lifting yet. We are going to inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Lift a little this time, inhale through your nose, and exhale through your mouth. Okay, so that's the cheer assisted version of this workout. Uh, let's try that again. I'm going to show it without a chair in front of me this time. But if you need that chair, that's there for you to use. Let's try this this time without a chair to help you out. And if you can only do this sitting down, just keep on stretching forward and back even though you can't lift off of your chair that's completely okay okay let's take a deep breath in inhale through your nose exhale through your mouth feet flat on the floor you were looking up the whole entire time so go ahead and stretch forward no lifting yet and exhale now lift a little this time inhale and exhale Okay, one more variation for folks. Again, an all abilities exercise class, so we're going to try and give you as many variations as we can, we can show. And so this one involves kind of a rocking back where you bring your weight to the back here. I'm lifting my legs up, and then I'm going to use all that weight, that momentum to push me forward to lift a little, and then gently sit back down. So that's another variation, and we're going to work up to that as well. So let's start with our first motion. We are going to just lean forward, no lifting. So inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Now lift a little, rock back if you need that support, and then push the ground. And gently sit back down. So. That is three different variations for you. Sitting down, or I mean four, actually, you can just keep on sitting down. Uh, the chair assisted, the, just the normal one where you just lift, and then the rocking back one where you add that extra rock back motion to help build that momentum. So choose whichever one makes the most sense to you. We are gonna do this uh, all together again, so we'll do it one more time, and then we're going to add our very last part where we stand all the way up. So, take a drink of water if you need to, take a deep breath in and out. We are going to start with our first motion of just leaning forward, no lifting, and then lifting a little. Okay, so go ahead and inhale as you lean forward, exhale. Now lift a little this time, inhale, and exhale. Okay, the last part to our sit to stand is standing all the way up. Again, if you can't stand, that's okay. Keep on leaning forward and back. Uh, we will show seated variations of our exercises and stay standing when you're standing up. Okay, so the first part, no lifting yet, we are simply just going to lean forward, inhale, and exhale. Lift a little this time, inhale, and exhale. Now stand all the way up, inhale, and exhale. And let's stay standing. We're going to stand behind our chair here. Feel free to take a drink of water if you need to. Uh, 
Okay. So, I'm standing behind my chair. I'm going to wake up my ankles once more here. Uh, I'm sure they're pretty awake now, but I want to make sure they're extra mobile today. And what we're going to do, I'm going to step a little bit closer here so you can see my feet better. But we are going to raise one heel off of the ground, just one heel. And then the toes are still in contact with the ground. And then we're going to draw a circle with that heel. So from the front, it looks like this. We're drawing a circle with our heel. Turn as big of a circle as we can. We're kind of stretching that back part right there. We're touching those ankles. Switch directions if you haven't yet. And we're kind of waking up our toes too. They're coming in contact with the ground, moving around. And that also helps to wake them up. Okay, other side now this time again. Remember, heel off of the ground, toes are still in contact with the ground, and then we're going to draw a circle with that heel. So from the front, it looks like this. I don't really have any weight on this leg. All my weight's kind of on the standing leg right here. Switch directions. So you want to make sure you don't have weight on this leg that's moving around. You have some, but not a lot. Okay. Shake that off. Take a deep breath in again. Take a deep breath out. Stand behind your chair. And we are going to do some heel raises. So we're going to raise both of our heels and then put them back down. And you can feel free to hold on to that chair for support or hold on to your hips, whatever works for you. Let's go up on our heels and then back down. Up on our heels and then back down. We're actually, we're not going up on our heels. We're going up on our tiptoes. We are raising our heels. I've been saying that wrong. Excuse me. <laughs> so we are raising our heels off the ground and then coming back down. Okay. So let's go ahead. If you can hold it for a little bit longer each time you go up on your toes, go ahead and try and do that. Um, if it is already enough of a challenge for you and you just need to go just a little bit lower, do that too. So again, check in with your body with what works for you. Let's do three more here. We're going to do one, two, and for this last one, we're going to hold it up in the air. Hold it just a little bit longer. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and gently back down. And let's take a few deep breaths from that. Shake off those legs. I bet you didn't expect that. <laughs> If you did, maybe I've been doing it long enough where you notice that I've been doing it. <laughs> okay, let's take a deep breath in. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Okay. So to continue, we are going to stretch out that muscle now. We worked hard on it. Let's stretch it out a bit, um, which is also a bit of an exercise, stretching it out. Let's stand about an arm's length away from our chair. I forgot to mention um, that if you were doing that exercise sitting down, let me show that really quick here, you are doing very similar to how we were doing it sitting down uh, with our warm up, where we were raising our toes and lifting our heels. Um, and so doing this while we were um, with our heel raises is is the variation for sitting down. Okay, so again, coming back now, for those folks who are standing up, this is how it'll look like standing up, and then I'll show what it looks like seated down in a second here. But you are gonna stand about an arm's length away from your chair, and then you're gonna put one foot in front of the other, 
and keep both feet flat. This is the key thing to remember. We're keeping both feet flat on the floor the whole entire time. And so we're going to lean forward. Remember, keep that foot flat. So that means you're extending your back leg here, keeping it straight, keeping that foot flat. And you should feel a stretch on your calves, so the back part of your leg right here. So if you feel that stretch, that's the stretch that you need to feel. Okay, let's switch feet. Other foot this time. One foot in front of the other. Feet flat on the floor. And then we're going to lean forward, holding on to that chair for support, and then keeping that back leg outstretched because we're trying to keep our feet flat on the floor. So if you feel a stretch right here, that's what you need to feel. Feel a stretch on your calf, that's what you need to feel. Okay. Switch, go ahead, do the other side again for those folks standing up. If you are seated down, the variation to this to feel that same calf stretch is to extend one leg in front of the other, Choose whichever one. Don't block out that knee, though. We want to keep it soft. And we're going to flex our foot. So instead of the foot being flat, we are flexing that foot up. And then coming forward. We just come forward enough to feel a stretch right here. And once we feel that stretch, we're going to pause. We're not going to push it too far. And we're going to take deep breaths in and out. Okay, go ahead and switch. Other foot this time. Extend one foot forward. Remember, flex that foot. Flexing simply means bringing it closer to you. And so, at least when it comes to the foot, flexing means bringing it closer to you. And we are going to lean forward until we feel a stretch in the underside of our leg. So take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out, deep breath in, and deep breath out. Okay, for those folks who are standing up, keep on switching those feet. I will come back to that in a little bit here. Um, I'll, show, I'll show them what this looks like again, sitting down, but extend one foot forward. Keep that leg straight, but not locked in place. And then flex that foot instead of keeping it flat. And then we're going to lean forward to feel that stretch on the underside of our leg. And so if you can only move so far, that's okay. Um, we're all at different level, levels and abilities for this all abilities exercise half. So do what you can. Take deep breaths in and out. Okay. I'm going to switch back to standing for those folks who are still standing and doing this exercise. And this is the last one, so hopefully you are evening it out. Uh, we are going to place one foot in front of the other, keeping our feet flat, and bringing our weight forward. Keeping feet flat, remember that. Um, if you're sitting down, your feet are the opposite, and they are flexed. And your toes point into the ceiling. If they can, if they can. Okay, relax. Take another couple deep breaths in and out. Drink some water. And remember that uh, you can take breaks again. I know that um, this is an hour long class, but uh, you can take a break when you need to. Come back to this video if you would like. That is up to you. And of course, always keep on drinking water and staying hydrated so that we are not dehydrated. So even if you're not thirsty, uh, drink water. Okay, let's go ahead and inhale through our nose again. Exhale through our mouth. Inhale through our nose. Exhale through Okay, so let's go ahead and this time we are going to, uh, oh, lost my train of thought for a second there. We are going to step side to side. So I will 
will show what this looks like seated down first, actually. And then for those folks standing up, go ahead and um, uh, mirror your feet the same way as how I am doing it. And we are simply second side together and then side together. Side together, side together. Feel free to do it at a pace that works for you. If you would like to go slower or go faster, that is up to you. You go ahead and make that challenge for yourself, whatever it might be. And if you would like an extra challenge for those folks sitting down, something that you could do is to raise your knee up as you move it to the side, your feet together. Raise that foot off of the ground at a little bit of height difference. And then you start to feel your hips working hard too. So even when they weren't lifting up, I know I was feeling my hips. But again, remember your posture is straight, back is, spine is straight, and then to keep good posture while you're doing this. For those folks who are standing up, you can hold on to the chair for a chair assisted version of this. So that's a variation. You can also have the chair slide and have your hands on your hips if you would like. And then for your variation, we are going to step to the side, do a mini squat, and then feet together. Step to the side, mini squat, feet together. So open up, squat, feet together, open up. And when you kind of bend your knees like this, I'm going to show what this looks like from the side. I'm going to show what it looks like holding onto the chair too. So you are opening up. Imagine you're sitting down in a chair, turning out, feet together. Opening up, sitting in a chair, turn out, feet together. So that is how to do that. If you can only go so low, just a little small micro bend, that's okay. I think the important part to exercising anything is to just keep on moving, keep on working at our own pace. And we all go, we all have different, um, all have different bodies and they're there for us to make sure we take care of. I don't want to push it too far right away. And it's working hard for us either way, since we're still up and moving. And that's the great thing about it. Okay, let's do two more on each side here. So go ahead and do one, and then two. Okay, relax, take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out. We are going to go back to our seated exercises now here. And before you sit back down, let's go ahead and have our legs, back of our legs, touching our chair. We are going to take a deep breath in and inhale through our nose. Exhale through our mouth. Okay, this time we're going to inhale through our nose. And when we exhale out, we're going to gently Sit back down and exhale it all out. Okay. So we are seated back down here again. We're going to give a rest to our legs. They were working hard. So let's give them a bit of a break. And let's go ahead and stretch out our arms again here. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. And we are going to grab our stretch bands if we have them. If you don't have stretch bands, you don't, um, don't worry. We can do these exercises without stretch bands. But these are for you if you would like that extra attention um, to be able to go through movements with an extra challenge. Feel free to have that with you. And what we're going to do is we are going to hold on to both 
uh, ends of our stretch band here, and we're just going to pull them apart. So we are going to just simply pull them apart to the sides, and then come back to center. Pull them apart to the sides, and come back to center. I usually exhale when I'm doing a strenuous motion like this, and then inhale when I'm coming back. Let's go ahead and just do two more here. And again, you don't need stretch bands to do this exercise. If I didn't have a stretch band here with me, I'd just be doing it the same thing. I could tense up my muscles to make it seem like as though I'm holding onto a stretch band and working hard. But again, use a stretch band if you have it. If you don't, don't worry about it. And I'm going to relax. Relax those arms. Take a deep breath in. Inhale. Take a deep breath up and exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Okay, this time. Let's go ahead and hang on to one end of our stretch band here. We're going to put it to our knee. And so, uh, if you look at my arm here, my arm is coming across my body. It's not just straight like that, but it's coming across our body, my left arm, left hand on my right knee. And then I'm going to grab on to the other end of the stretch band here, and I'm going to pull up with this hand. So I'm going to anchor this left hand on my right knee, and I'm going to pull up and this is what it looks like if you're seated down. We're going to pull up and come back down. If you can only raise your arm up to a certain point, that's okay. Feel free to let go of the bands as well um, and not have them for this exercise if that works for you. And again, don't forget to keep on breathing here. Let's do one more. And relax. Let's inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Go ahead and place the stand onto your knee again. Arm is coming across your body here. We're going to inhale and exhale. Let's go ahead and grab on the other end of the band. And you're going to pull up and then come back down. So I usually exhale when I pull, inhale when I come back down and relax, exhale, short to the side. And we're going to go through one more. Let's take a break from these stretch bands and we're going to stretch out our arms. Let's go ahead and have one arm off to the side and then have it come across our body. Other arm off to the side, come across our body. To the side, come across, and then other side, come across. So when I do this, I am not turning my torso at the same time, I'm not doing this, but I'm keeping my torso facing the front here as I move my arms and test my flexibility and inhaling and exhaling all the way through. Take some water if you need. And let's go ahead and do two more on each side here. So here is one, another one, and two. And relax those arms. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Deep breath in. 
Take a deep breath out. Okay, this time. So we are going to um, grab on to one of our weights this time. Now, if you don't have a weight with you, again, you don't have, you don't need weights to do this exercise. I'll show what this looks like actually without weights first before I add on that weight. But we are going to clasp our hands together here. So clasping the hands together. And then we're raising it up overhead here. Then we are bending it back and then pulling it up, bending it back and pulling up. So this is how to do it without any weights in your hand. If you would like to add a weight in your hand, go ahead and grab onto that. Hold on to it like you're um, you're making a triangle with your hands here. So if you look at my hands right there, I'm holding on to that weight like this. And I'm bending it down, stretching up overhead, bending it down, and stretching up overhead. So I usually inhale. Exhale and I pull up. Wait, not pull up, but push up. Inhale. And I bring that weight above my head. And let's just do one more. Inhale. And then release. Go ahead. Give your arms a rest. We've been working our arms now a lot. So we are going to rest them out. Go ahead and kind of wiggle. Spaghetti arm it a little bit if you would like. Take a deep breath in, inhale. Deep breath out, exhale. Deep breath in, inhale. Deep breath out, exhale. Coming back to our hands here, I'm going to come a little bit closer to the camera so that you can see. But we are going to extend our arms out and then come back. To a ball. Let's try that again. Extend it out and come back to a ball. So stretching those fingers, taking your time with it. And you can keep it pretty low up right here. I'm simply doing it so that you can see what I'm doing. We're taking deep breaths in and out through this movement. Okay, leave those fingers out, stretch this time. Palms facing the floor. And rotate, face the ceiling. Face the floor, face the ceiling. So we are just switching our palms, facing up and down. As we can gently rotate our wrists. You can keep your fingers outstretched or keep them pretty relaxed. That is up to you. Take deep breaths. In and out. Okay. And relax those hands, shake them off like little waves to loosen them up. Whatever works. And then coming back to our hands, we're going to touch each finger with our thumb. Touching each finger with our thumb here. Feel free to go as fast as you can using different order, orders of your fingers. Giving it a bit of a brain challenge as well. I know when I do this exercise, I feel that in my forearms here. So <laughs> it's a good exercise for the small, small muscles that you've got in those. Areas as well. And shake it off again. Take deep breaths in and out. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Okay. So, coming back, let's go ahead and do that sit to stand exercise again here. If you are starting to feel tired, that's okay. You don't need to keep on doing this. Uh, we are going to put our feet flat on the floor, 
seated towards the edge of our chair so that we have room underneath our legs. And we're going to take a deep breath in and inhale. Take a deep breath out and exhale. Arms at your sides and posture is straight while you're looking up the whole entire time. You're going to inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Lift a little this time. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Now stand all the way up. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, but for those folks who'd like to do this standing, here's a standing exercise. Um, you can have your chair in front of you if you'd like a chair assist. But I will put that to the side just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. But we are going to have our knees slightly bent. They're not locked in place. We have soft knees here. And we're going to place our hands on our hips. And then we're going to draw a circle with those hips. So we're doing hip circles here. As big of a circle as you can with your hips if you're holding on to the chair. Same exact thing. I challenge you to do this exercise without moving your upper body. So if you are standing up, try and imagine as though you're balancing something on your head and you're isolating this movement to just simply stay at your hips. Switch directions if you haven't yet. For those folks who are seated down, uh, it's really, it's impossible to not move your upper body because that's how we're doing this exercise. So no need to do that. Um, simply just feel that weight shift to different parts of your leg, of your glutes, your butt muscles as well. Uh, feel that difference as you draw as big of a circle as you can sitting down. Okay, keep on going, keep on going. We'll just do it for five more seconds here. And slow down to a stop. Okay, drink some water if you haven't yet. Make sure you're staying hydrated. We're close to the end here. Um, taking deep breaths in and out again. Take a break if you need to. Okay, so this time we are going to stretch out our hips a lot. We're going to work on our flexibility this time. And so make sure that if you still need that chair in front of you, go ahead and have that. If you're starting to feel tired, feel free to sit down. But go ahead and have your knees slightly bent again. They're not locked in place, but they are soft and we are going to test out our balance this time. So have your feet about hip width apart just underneath you. And we are going to feel our weight in both feet this time. And then we're going to lean to one side, feel the weight more on that foot. Come back to center, your weight is equal. And then other side, feel more of that weight on the other. So keep on shifting right and left, and notice the difference that you feel with your weight shifts. When we shift to the sides here, we're keeping our feet flat the whole entire time as we do this. And that helps us train our body to see, see kind of what our limit is going to the side and feeling that weight shift. Okay, I'm going to challenge you this time. If, oh, if you are seated down, I forgot to show. Keep on going if you're standing up. I forgot to show what this looks like seated down. But shift that way, side, and then side. Try not to lean like this. We're keeping our back straight, so we're keeping our spine straight and upward. Just shifting our weight to our side. It's like we're 
shifting our core here with our abdomen going out side to side. So that's what it looks like seated down for those folks. Standing up. Let's go ahead and this time we are going to feel those same weight shifts, but we're going to feel it to the front and then to the back. Remember, knees slightly bent. Feel that weight shift to the front and to the back. Whenever I shift to the front here, I feel my toes kind of curl into the ground, trying to keep my balance. But again, keep those feet flat on the floor. We're feeling different weight shifts here. This is something that we do in our Tai Chi class, our Tai Chi Chuan, Moving for Better Balance class. It's a fall prevention based class, uh, fall prevention based Tai Chi class, I mean. And it's a pretty good exercise to be able to uh, improve your sense of balance and your body awareness of where your weight is. So feel that weight shift kind of to the ball of your foot, to the front. Feel that weight shift back to your heels and shifting back. And forward. One more time here. Okay, and relax. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. One more exercise. We worked on our balance here. And we're going to bring it all the way up, up top again, back to our head and our neck. So that we end the day kind of with a looser neck. We are going to. Bring our shoulders down, we're pulling them downwards, and then we're going to lean over to one side as though our ear is trying to reach our shoulder. We're going to inhale through our nose, exhale through our mouth, switch, other side, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Okay, switch again, other side. If you feel a stretch right here at your neck, that's what you're supposed to feel. Go ahead and inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And one more. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Carmel. I work with Eastside Neighborhood Services with the Vital Living Program. I want to share a link here. This is to our um, upcoming class in two weeks, our Living Well with Chronic Pain class. Uh, we have that coming up for, for you. It is going to be over the telephone. So if you are interested, go ahead and click on that link. I'll also post it as a comment. And thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you all are having a great time and uh, enjoying the summer. And take care and stay well. Bye-bye. Have a good day.